everyone, my name is Elfa. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today we are building in the world of Evergreen Harbor and this is the Grim's Quarry lot. So actually I think it was a community space or something if I'm not mistaken. But I bulldozed that and I turned it into a regular residential build. So anyway this is actually my build for another collab called the sims for future collab so this collab is hosted by honey may sims i will put her instagram and twitter on the description box below and also with all of the participants on this collab so actually um she asked me a few months ago i'm not sure like two months ago i think to do a collab with her and i've been loving her builds since the first day i saw it and i think it's such an honor for me to have a collab with her and especially with her being the host so i said this of course and um, at first we weren't really sure what type of um, theme that we should do but I'm not sure who, but someone proposed to do a kind of like future dystopian collab. So um, we're all agree. And that's basically the whole theme of this um, collab. And actually, there are two ways to translate this theme. So um, futuristic type of build can be very like, um, like eco lifestyle type of a build like very sustainable and very like clean and green and more like structured look and also they could be very like dystopian type of build so there are two different um, ways to kind of represent this whole um, theme and I chose the like very green looking because don't get me wrong I tried to build a dystopian one but it didn't look right so um, actually I was going to build something that very a bit brutalist and a bit of course dystopian but a bit brutalist but it just doesn't look right and I hated it so much so I kind of like just left it and started over so for the second time I tried to challenge myself a bit to build in the 64 by 64 lot in Delso Valley the um, Shatu Peak if I'm not mistaken the lot name so it was such a really interesting build and I I think I spent like two or three hours to build that but I ended up hitting it again so for the third times, I tried to move to um, sign my Juno in the Kasba Gallery lot. I think it's on the art district if I'm not mistaken, but it just didn't look right again for the third times. So I was kind of gave up and I looked up on Pinterest for I don't know like how long and I came up with this whole idea to build a kind of like a modular boxy build and everything should be looking very white and i've never built on this lot for for a year basically since we got the eco lifestyle and i think this is a perfect chance for me to kind of like make my dreams come true to build on this lot and also built with something very white but with a lot of greenery so i came up with that idea and i decided to go with this like three stories very modern kind of modular green looking um, greeneries of course and it should be a bit more sustainable and also very like a uh, clean something like that and it should be very airy bright and clean something like that so that's basically the goal and I just kind of like wing it when uh, I saw that um, image. I think I, I still have that pinned on my Pinterest, I'm pretty sure because I just saw it like earlier today. But um, that's basically the main idea and I just came up with this whole build over here. It took me forever to kind of um, like figuring out everything, how the shape should be and what to do with the whole surroundings because this build was really hard to build so the one of the main reasons 
is um, everything's just very white and I didn't know where the lot ends so at first I kind of um, painted the whole lot with green to see where the lot ends and also the lighting is kind of difficult for me when I built this because I'm not sure like either the weather or the time it's basically just a bit dark on the front and somehow it's brighter on the back which always happens on this type of builds I mean the the lot that has this kind of like a um, rock thing on the back it always happened like that so I did flip the um, front to back and back to front so like basically just reverse the build and it works fine and somehow um, it's still really hard for me to kind of like do the whole landscaping which you will see later on and it took me forever just to you know like to figure out everything because it's just too white and I would love to have some like greenery and at first I really wanted to put a pond like a kind of like a um, cute pond to fill up the lot a little bit but it just looked very out of place so I didn't do that and also I decided to play with this um, debug planters thing that um, like circular shape debug planters thing because um, on the area near this lot we have a lot of like this circular I don't want to say planters but that I don't know plan plan that I think and I tried to mimic that and also we have this kind of like a chess pattern um, tiles over there with the actual greenery that like green tiles from eco lifestyle of course and that I don't know what type of tiles that is but the stone thingy one I really really like that because it looks very like clean but peaceful and calm I just really really like that and somehow the floor plan didn't take me that long to figure out because typically it would take me I don't know like 40 minutes I actually just did a build where it took me an hour to do the uh, floor plan but um, it's a way smaller build than this so I'm just very surprised by how fast I came up with the floor plan it's just really really fast and um, I have to mention this before I forget I use a ton of packs on this build so yeah I'm I'm so sorry and actually this build has uh, three entrances which is a lot so one of them is on this area to the dining room and the other one leads to the um, living room and the last one leads to the kind of like party bar area so if you want to have a party you can just bring your guests to that area over there without them having to you know like walking through the kitchen dining and so on and so on so yeah that's that and i know that seems a lot but this house doesn't have any back door like to the backyard because we don't have a backyard here we only have a side yard and a front i don't want to say the front part is a front yard but it's kind of is and here we are now working on the kitchen i decided to do with this cool kitchen countertops but mix the um, cabinet with the items from um i think it's from yeah dream home decorator and also use the tv cabinet as the you know like the overhead countertops not overhead countertops overhead cabinets and um, I think it looks really well the brown and white swatch from both packs really match up together which is very strange because um, I would never expect that and I love cool kitchen so so much but the overhead cabinets are too much everything's just very like glassy I mean the door is a glass door and I don't think that's very pleasing to see like I mean the cabinets at my house they have this part where they were like very close like like solid wood and also there are just a few parts where they have this tiny glass door but it's not like all of them like glass I, I don't like that so um, I barely use the cool kitchen overhead cabinets that's why and 
I think paired that up with Trim Home Decorator, which happens to be one of my most favorite cam pack, is very nice. They look really cute together. I really like it. So anyway, um, one question before we move on with the whole speed build. Um, if you ever want to live in the future, do you prefer a more like dystopian world? Or like more like sustainable, green, eco, and kind of like chic, um, you know, like clean, recyclable, something like that type of a world, or very industrial, dystopian type of a world. Because for me personally, I love both. But generally speaking, I think I might choose the the more like clean green looking because the air will be better and it's better for our health i mean that is the case with the real life but if in the sims most of the times i always change the eco footprint to the green because it's just better like i i really like it and actually i have to mention that this house has wait a second one two i think five bathroom and six bedroom yeah i think i'm not sure but we have one bathroom oh sorry two bathrooms on the ground floor over here and we also have um three bathrooms on the second story and then one other bathroom so yeah six bathrooms five bedrooms total i think i could be wrong but this is I don't want to say that this is a mansion because it's clearly not it's uh, a bit smaller for a mansion but I think this is one of the bigger builds that I've done in I don't know in couple of months and I'm really happy with how this turns out I think this is one of my most favorite build I think the main reason is because everything is just so clean it looks very clean which I really like and I also managed to put a kind of like a creative dance area over his kind of like a bar situation with the dance floor and also with the um, you know the, the singing thing what is that microphone the um, speakers and also I think I put a guitar but if we have this kind of like a band pack like revamp version of um, not Del Sol Valley, what is that? Get Famous. I would love to have a drum kit and also um, bass and also harps, something like that. And put that on that room over there. So it's kind of like a music room because the lighting is great. And um, the only strange thing with that room is the shape. It's a diagonal and everything's on diagonal is basically just just strange i have a belt that i built like a few months ago and it was built in evergreen harbor 2 on the conifer station neighborhood and it was a diagonal belt and it took me forever to figure out everything because everything just so oddly shaped and also the tiles count is a bit a bit strange so yeah, basically working on diagonals is not very pleasing, but I think sometimes I just love working on diagonals because sometimes it's just fun and I need a bit more challenge. So anyway, we are now on the second story over here and as you can see, we have a lot of like windows. That's basically the main goal. So um, I kind of imagine that if this was a real life house, they would have lot of natural lights and the electricity bills will be lower and yeah it's just basically nice and you have a ton of plants around you so it makes you happy so i decided to do something like that and i know in real life it would be very hot especially um if i live in this house in my country especially in my city here because you have no idea how hot it is so I record this voiceover on Saturday, the, what, what date is the day? Um, 18th? It was blazing hot today. And at first I really want to do this voiceover um, on the afternoon, like about 1 or 2 p.m. But it was like crazy hot. I have no idea. It's, it's just extremely hot that I... I got dizzy and my eyes were blurry so I couldn't work under that conditions and I kind of postponed it and 
it's now about nine in the evening and I'm doing this voiceover so anyway my point is um, I think I couldn't live on this house if the weather is that hot I mean it was like 38 degrees Celsius which is I think about like I don't know almost 90 degree Fahrenheit I could be wrong I know nothing about Fahrenheit and I I just basically don't know how to calculate it like very quickly but it's basically very hot and very humid and it makes you very dizzy so imagine if you are experiencing that weather but you live on this house imagine the heat you will need a lot of air cons and it's just it makes your bill even higher not lower by any means so yeah I, I don't want to live in this house but I think in Evergreen Harbor it would be nice because it just looks very like it doesn't have that much heat as much as let's say Oasis Springs so it's totally fine but anyway we are now on the uh, master bedroom over here so the master bedroom is not that big it's every bedroom that we have on this house is basically not that big but they're all just distant size and we have a lot of rooms here so um, you can put up to I don't know like one two three four four eight sims total and one thing that I totally forgot to do is to put a um, bed bed the the football bed bowl actually not football and also um, the cat litter box because I think it would be nice if we have some kind of things for the pets either a cat or a dog or both or whatever but I totally forgot that but it's okay it's it's done already I couldn't change it anymore so it's totally fine so um, anyway it took me I don't know six to seven hours to finish this build I didn't realize how long it was and it took me two days to <laughs> edit this video it's just ridiculous um, it's not like two full days because I have a day job but sometimes I edit it when I have free time so um, yeah it took me two days to edit this and it just ridiculously long I mean um, I used to speed up my speed build up to eight times so that's rather fast and um, someone actually kind of um, suggested me to slow it down a little bit so they can like catch up with everything that I do and yeah nowadays I only speed it up six times max typically five times but for longer builds like this it would be six times so I think it would be a bit easier to catch up to see what I do and um, I didn't realize that after being sped up like six times it was like an hour long so and here's the thing I don't want to split this video into two parts because I think it's just ridiculous and there are some parts that I just kind of like wasn't really sure with what I do so I just simply cut that off and I'm so happy that it's a 24 minutes long after I cut some parts off where I was figuring out with the platform for the roofs and what else I think yeah I think that's it so um, that's basically took me the longest and also like deciding the um, wallpapers for the outside because I don't want to do like a plain white basic white walls like everywhere it just doesn't look nice so i decided to have this kind of like a more like uh dirty beige color if that's makes sense i don't know what color is that but it's kind of like a sandy beige something like that so it has a little bit more texture and also of course white and yeah basically just very neutral colors anyway we are now on the last bedroom over here and I have to mention this before I forget again that I totally forgot to um, do one bedroom so yeah I just realized it like days after I finished with this build and I did furnish the last bedroom I mean the the one that I forgot to furnish but 
I didn't hit the record button so I'm so sorry about that but you will see in the screenshots part and also the floor plan shot like the bird IV shots so I hope you're okay with that I totally forgot that we have one more bedroom on that part but anyway we are now on the exterior now and we'll just have to finishing up with the this part over here so we have this um, area to hang out with the um, picnic bench and also the lounge chairs it's from island living i think but i really really like it with how it all turns out and we'll just have to finishing up with the landscaping a little bit the landscaping is very simple as you can see it's just like very um structured but i think i haven't done something like this quite often so i think it's really nice and it's it's just really nice to have something like this and yeah i think that is it we just have to finishing up with the landscaping a little bit here and there and we'll be moving on to the screenshots so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my aid which is alpha Tierra, or under the hashtag flammy sims you could also click the download link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website you can download from there so there are two links from my coffee the gallery download link and also the tray files link and you can just simply click that link and it'll bring you to the gallery or the sim file share so yeah i think that is it and before i go i really want to say huge thank you to may honey masons um for letting me take part on this collab it was such an honor for me to have a collab with this great builders i mean you have to check them out i highly suggest you every single participant is mentioned on the description box below just check them out and also you can just simply um search the hashtag ts4 future collab on instagram if you want to see the whole posts so yeah i think that's it I really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this voiceover right now. Thank you so so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you next time.